I think I was 15 or 16. I was sitting on the set net skip with my dad, and it, some news about Pebble came up. My dad explained to me, he's like, well, let's just propose mine, you know, up at the headwaters of Bristol Bay. And, but as I came to learn about it more, it obviously is always in the back of your mind. It's a national issue. This is WAB 970, the Alaska Department of Fishing Game in Dillingham, with an announcement regarding commercial fishing in the New Shigak District. Harvest was 200,000 sockeye salmon yesterday. I was up giving a talk. They asked me, so are you like the god of this? And I said, no, I'm more like the Lorax. I speak for the fish, and it's my job to make sure they're here for my children's children. Yeah, Bristol Bay is the, the pinnacle for salmon fisheries in Alaska. We have unperturbed areas for all these fish to go to and spawn. You think about other places around the world where they've had salmon, and most of them have met their demise due to overfishing and destruction of the habitat. You've never seen beautiful land until you've seen Alaskan wilderness in the peak of summer. And then when you go into the streams that surround the lakes, you can see hundreds of thousands of fish just swimming red in the water, and it's, it's a beautiful sight. Good? Good. I was fortunate enough to grow up fishing with my dad. And my mom, of course, was around as well, and, and she did most of the um, home pack. Well, I think what draws me to fishing the most, it's dirty and it's fun and it's exhausting. And those are the pieces that I love so much about it. When fishing's slow, it's slow. But when it's good, it's hectic and it's a buzz. Everyone's just like slamming and jamming and picking fish and selling fish. You can't stop and you stay. And sometimes it's 20 hours and sometimes it's 30 hours. It's a really upbeat, energetic time with a huge crash afterward. It's incredible. The pebble mine, or the proposed pebble mine, is a proposed uh, massive open pit copper, gold, and molybdenum mine um, located at the headwaters of the Bristol Bay region, the Bristol Bay watershed. It would be one of the largest in North America, as it's currently proposed. It'd have a 750-foot tailings dam, which would hold you know, billions of tons of waste. The tailings that result from mining is uh, what worries me the most. It's not the actual mining itself. It's how, how they're gonna contain the chemicals that they need to extract the gold. That mine is gonna have toxic ponds that are gonna have to be watched 800 years from now. Over 85% of the people of Bristol Bay oppose the mine going in because it may affect the water quality and the habitat that fish live in. Absolutely, we need jobs in Bristol Bay, but we're not willing to trade our habitat our fish species for jobs. Give us clean jobs. To introduce Ben Blakey next. I typically don't like to think of Bristol Bay just in terms of money. I mean, Bristol Bay brought me my, my family. When you're talking to the legislators and the folks who are making these decisions, oftentimes they just want to hear about the dollars and cents. To counter that, I mean, I might suggest talk about what we're doing. Right away, all right. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later, Steve. Take care, man. Good luck tonight. See you. Northline Seafoods, we're a primary processor of uh, wild Alaskan salmon. Based in Bristol Bay, Alaska, we, we specialize in freezing fish quickly at very low temperatures. There's a good size, perfectly iced king, which will freeze this down to negative 40, and it's going to make, I don't know, probably some wedding party happy in a couple months. So within 12 hours after they're pulled out of the water, 
we're sorting them onto pans inside of our fish house and then putting them right into a negative 50 degree freezer which essentially freezes them down cold and quickly and they uh, resemble more a fresh fish than anything. I think Pebble Mine woke up a sleeping bone in Bristol Bay. I think the people of Bristol Bay will step up, you know, 100 years from now, we'll still be in the fishery. A lot of people benefit from wild salmon. A lot of people benefit from clean waters, no matter where they're at. People across the U.S. need to be the decision makers. They need to weigh in. It's important for folks to be educated, at least, about the aspects of this project and the benefits of the Bristol Bay Salmon Run. I know how resilient and how strong-willed and how committed the people who live here are to ensuring that this place remains what it's always been. So this is the last great wild sockeye salmon run on the planet. 